I just had this aha moment thinking about ASCII supremacists. And if you don't know what an ASCII supremacist is, I didn't know until very recently. Um, it's somebody that uses their Asperger's diagnosis to paint themselves as better than someone who has the autism diagnosis. Despite the fact that the Asperger's diagnosis is being phased out and moving forward, in most parts of the world, people are only being diagnosed with autism and no longer Asperger's. Not saying that if you have the Asperger's diagnosis, you can't still continue to identify as Asperger's if that's already more comfortable to you. Here's the issue. You know, I'm driving to work and I have this epiphany, this aha moment of, you know, where at, where at people with Asperger's, you know, want to separate themselves from autistics. And say no, you know, they, 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 the people with Aspergers are like, yeah, the autistics are so, have something really wrong with them. Uh, us people with Aspergers are just really, really smart, and that's not okay. And I haven't really known what to say or do with this information, but I had a big aha moment about, you know, the nature of these kinds of or the then what, where these thoughts come from? Because I, I wanted to share with you something very personal. When I was growing up, I did some time in a special ed classroom, and I remember wanting to differentiate myself from the other kids in special ed. And I was not diagnosed at this time, so I, I didn't have any diagnosis. I was just a problem, and they put me in special ed. <laughs> so I, 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 the other kids, you know, people treated them like there was something wrong with them, and I was convinced there was nothing wrong with me. And so I needed to separate myself, you know, and this is elementary school, so I first grade probably, or second grade, third grade, I don't, I'm not sure the exact year. But I felt a really strong need to differentiate myself from the other kids. But it wasn't because there was anything wrong with the other kids. It was because the people around, like the teachers and the other kids, around the, the special needs kids in the special needs classroom treated these special needs kids like they were broken. And I had a strong feeling that I wasn't broken. And that's why I needed to separate myself from the other special ed kids, like in my head, the category. I had to draw a hard category there. And I don't see it this way now, but I just had this complete flashback to being my little self sitting in the special ed classroom and looking at those other kids and all of a sudden, you know, everything that was in my head is just back and I, I, I just, I understood. I, I was able to take the perspective of, you know, the Aspies who, and I don't even want to use the word Aspie, but that's the word that they often use for themselves. The autistic, the Asperger's people who really, you know, are like, autism is this, but Asperger's is this, and they really want to make that divide, even though, you know, even, you know, medical science is getting rid of that divide at this point. Uh, in most of the world, but they really want to hang on to that, and it's not, I don't think it's because they think there's anything wrong with autistics, I think it's because everyone around them is saying that there's something wrong with autistics, and that's more on this stigma we've got a problem with, is that society tells everyone that being autistic is so horrible, and that it's a tragedy, and that we need to cure autistic people, and that we need to help them so they can lead more normal lives and be more normal and fuck, why do, excuse my language, but what if we don't want to be normal or lead normal lives, like, you know, normal, quotes, normal, like, what if we don't want to do the same things that everybody else does, you know, what if we want to live our lives differently, why does that have to be a problem? 
but, you know, that's, that's a whole other conversation. Uh, but these are just my thoughts. So I don't know if I'm going to share this. I'm just doing a voice memo on my phone right now. I've got it sitting in my lap, and I'm driving because I don't want to lose these thoughts because it's hard for me to keep words in my head. Uh, and I don't know. I hope I can share these thoughts. I'm going to go back and listen to them and see if they even make sense. Uh, anyway, I'm going to sign out.